What's happening guys? I am literally about to go to the gym to meet Joey Farrell. He is two times junior Mr. Wales bodybuilder in UKBFF 2014-2015 and he's also sponsored by BSN and I am going down to let him take me through a chest workout. You said how you wanted, you said how you needed, don't want you believe it, you take it or leave it. So I am here with Joe Farrell. We're in Gym Vision Cardiff, also the place to come to if you want to come to a gym in Cardiff. Everything here you need. Uh, he's one of the PTs down here. He's also two times, uh, what was it, 2014-15? Two, yeah, 14-15 junior Mr. Wales. That's it, for UKBFF, yeah? UKBFF, yeah. So, it, so everything is intact, literally. So I obviously follow intermittent fasting and kind of like if it's a macros approach. Um, obviously this guy, I've, I, I PT my clients here as well. So I work here and I see him eating, training, doing all this this stuff, which is you know on point, everything, timing. It's just another aspect of it. Basically, there's one main thing when it comes to diet and nutrition. So when you're on about losing weight, um, there's one main factor. I'm not going to say it. Say I'm going to let him say it in a minute. Um, so like I was saying, when I do intermittent fasting, if it's your macros approach, that is one way of doing diet and losing weight. Okay. Not one shoe fits all. There's many different ways of doing it, and I want to get him on camera to show you guys his approach and his way of doing it. So the question I want to ask him is, what is the main factor in for you losing weight and for most of your clients and people um, to get that kind of weight loss and fat loss? Ultimately, um, it's 
calorie deficit. So obviously it's calories in versus calories out. However, the way we manipulate what calories we need in our bodies, I think depends on the person, on what approach you use. So for me, um, I feel if I can increase the amount of food I eat, it's gonna be better for my body. But to do that and still be in a deficit, do I just go help, like you know, balls to the wall on the training? Yeah, that's okay, but we can get into an overtraining state. Or do we do things with our diet, little tweaks in the training that manipulate metabolism so that we are obviously needing more calories at rest, so that our deficit is going to be more food anyway. Um, I mean, I start off, especially in the off-season, my deficit, you know, I, I can take in a lot of calories, but my metabolism is so crap at that point that, you know, um, I'm not going to be able to tolerate the calories that I, my body would now and still lose fat. How many calories roughly are you taking today? Like, it, well, you're on prep at the moment, he's, yeah. he's on prep, he's three weeks away from his competition, um, defending the title, yeah? Defending the title, yeah. So three weeks away from the competition, um, obviously your metabolism is probably, is it fiery right now? You're hungry all the time, you feel it's slowing down, how many calories are you on roughly? Right now it's crazy, um, obviously I had a cheat meal last night as well. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's firing like mad. My calories around the 2000 mark at the moment in the week only because it's three weeks out I'm trying to do a crazy low week um, I normally shoot in I, I, I said well, well Ricardo said I don't really use the macro situation we do use macros in terms of obviously I need my specific amount of protein a day I need my carbs and my fats um, but it'll mani I'll manipulate how I can tolerate certain things through the week at a certain times so if I drop my, my carbs completely out like I am now for the week next three four days um, my calories are low but my response to that will be I'll lose a lot of weight because my metabolism is firing by the time the fourth day comes um, my metabolism will have shut down it will look to look like I'm putting on weight um, and the scale will tell you I'm putting on weight because I'm losing body fat replacing that with water as a stress response and then as soon as I put in a few grams of carbs whether I refeed and keep the calories going higher or manipulate the macro so that the fats are lower, the protein's lower, sometimes I'll drop the protein from like 200 grams of chicken to, to 100 grams, but up the carbs in that meal, I'll wake up the next day harder, drier, three or four pound lighter, even though I've increased the carbs. Yeah, yeah. Obviously to show you as well how intense kind of when you when you prep yourself for a show, um, the calorie restriction things you do go on, I mean how much do you weigh now? Uh, this morning, well yesterday morning without the, the cheat meal, I was 91 kilo, bang on, yeah. the moment I did. And uh, what kind of things are you eating, apart from your cheat meal, you forget, yeah. you know, things like that, what kind of things they say you eat, where are you getting your protein sources, your carb sources from? Protein, egg whites, turkey, um, and chicken. I'm not one of these people who thinks you need to go to whitefish, I think. It's great to go to whitefish if you're trying to improve white fish, in. rice cake. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, but I think you can go to whitefish if you want to increase the amount of protein per meal when you're trying to drop the fats down. But for me, I tried it both ways and I look the same both ways. So I yeah. don't really think I'd, I want to get that cold fish out of the box and make yeah, my brain yeah. even more fried. Yeah. Um, so unless I'm needing to really drop the calories but keep the protein high, yeah. then I won't, won't go there. Well, won't go there. But, um, so my chicken, turkey and egg whites, that's my protein source. I have whey post-training. Um, that's the only, the only sort of supplements I do around training that are like calorie dense everything else obviously you've got amino x yeah. glutamine um i use the uh, B bca dna from bsn as well yeah. so you're obviously a bsn uh, sponsored yeah i mean yeah. even myself i use uh, my rotate between um, optimum nutrition my protein and even bsn supplements are really good um, i mean what supplementation do you take overall supplements wise a lot of you know multivitamins um, i take vitamin d3 um, i take um, full multivits, I take um, liver and organ support, I take um, green tea extract, I take omega 3, 6 and 9 essential, 100% essential. Um, do, you all, do you have specific timings to take them? Like I, have, I smash them all in the morning, it's funny, I've got a bit of table, I have all my tubs and I just literally know what I need to take out of each one, put them all in the, in the thing and then in the morning yes. I like scoop, bang, wall down. I'm not really that, I don't think it's... For me, it's not the, what it actually is doing for me. It just makes me think. If I'm putting all these little supplements in, which I can tell you Mark from CSN uh, makes a lot of money off me um, <laughs> from buying all the bloody things. But taking them makes me more motivated. I think, oh, you know, I'm doing everything I possibly can. Yeah. Um, and if I'm putting in the effort, why not get that extra 1%? Yeah. 
The best product I've used supplements wise this year, 100% um, seen some amazing progress with it, is the um, new Dragon Nutricles product, which is a roll on fat burner, right, yeah, yeah. Top, topical fat burner. Um, unbelievable progress. There's lines and areas I've never had them before. Yeah. Seen you do a video on that on your Instagram. Um, go check out his Instagram. What's your Instagram? Uh, Jerry uh, Farrell uh, underscore PT. Underscore PT. You've done a video actually. You talked about that, didn't you? A bit? Yeah, mate. Honestly, um, wait, 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 yeah. Uh, um, no, un unreal product. I mean, I've tried topical fat burners before, and they always kind of work for me. I think they were. I think people should be a bit more open-minded with their approach. People just see that it's a cream that you rub on and just going to magically burn fat, and then yeah. just completely dismiss it. But I've done it. I've tried it, and it works. Like, like works for me. So. I'm someone who's actually done it, not someone who said, oh, that's not going to work. Um, but this one is in particular, the craziest thing about it, well, the craziest thing I've seen so far, I've always been putting it through the lines of my delts and my chest, and I, I, they come in anyway, but I noticed, I noticed that at first. Secondly, I sent some progress pictures to the boss, I had no glutes at all, and we're worrying four or five weeks out, what do I do? So I started creaming up every morning. And honest to God, I haven't done any specific glute training until the start of this week. And the lines just, just appear in like, out of nowhere. And I can feel it, feel it burning. It's not just like I'm, you know, it's there and I don't know what's happening. I can feel that it's, it's burning the skin. Yeah. There's more blood flow to the area. If there's more blood flow to the area, your body's, your body's ability to take the fat, fatty acid from that cell yeah. is obviously enhanced. So why not keep the blood flow in an area, work your butt off like you're going to. Obviously this isn't a magic trick. Like yeah. You have to work and diet. That's the thing, I mean, you have to be lean at the end of the day. Yeah. You have to be lean as well, in a sense that you, you're not going to see any results from it unless you are lean enough to see them. Yeah. But it's not going to hit putting them on when you're trying to get lean. You know, It's still going to help you get lose fat and water in that area. Yeah. But the most important thing is just to make sure that your diet and your training is on point with it. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's the same thing anyway. Yeah. Which then leads me to my next question. Being three weeks out now, you're so close to competition. Yeah. Obviously, if you are going low carbs, you'd be quite depleted and stuff like that. What is your training look like? What kind of rep ranges, weights, um, yeah. percentage of, of strength you're going for? Um, What's it looking like? This week, it'll be f I do 50 minutes cardio faster than the morning. I say faster, but I'm drinking BCA, so we all know I'm not really fasted. Um, and I, I don't do it because it's faster. I do it because it's the time that's best for me. Yeah. Um, with that, I. I tend to do five minutes low intensity, five minutes of 30 second intervals, five minutes low intensity, yeah. repeat that for the 40 and then do 10 minutes low intense. Training wise, I try and train heavy right up to show peak week, um, but obviously we know it's like low carbs, it's hard to keep that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just don't, the gym's the worst place you could be in. So I would tend to drop my reps and just go for the squeeze and think of detail if, yeah. if I'm in those moods, but more often than not go heavy. 30 minutes of hit after that, and then I'll do my 30 minutes walk in the night low intense. Um, supplementation stays the same. The only thing that would be different about me this week is I'll have a t-shirt on, I won't look at my body because I typically, to look better, I have to look worse. Like, for example, so obviously you have a cheap meal, you look bad the next day, or good the next day, but if you're trying to flush it out, obviously you're full of water. Yeah. But with me, if I lose body fat, I fill out with water. I flatten yeah. out, I get watery. So not only do I lose muscle fullness and like hardness, I also fill with water, but it should really go the opposite way. But that's just my body's response. Um, I've, I've, I've typed into Google like a thousand times. What happens? Can you get hold water when you're flat, or do you hold water when you lose fat? And it never comes up with the answer. Yeah. But it's me, hundred percent. You know, I, if I go just on, try and ever see what, what happens with your body and, and see how it reacts. Um, okay, so we're just going to end this up and wrap it up now. He's going to take me through a little chest session. We're going to have a little session together. Um, so it's going to be one of his sessions, kind of three weeks out of tipple, what we're going to do, uh, mind to muscle connection, feeling the squeeze in the pump, and just a quick couple of points, someone who is looking to lose weight, drop fat, just easy points, you can name out three of them. Three points, find your macros and needs, so what protein, carbs, fats you need for your weight, make sure you're in a deficit, and do everything you can to make your deficit higher by speeding up your metabolism, best way to do that, intervals, drinking green tea. There's loads of ways, I'm sure you found them. The best one for me for metabolism is sleep, so get some snooze. Perfect. Sleep does help a lot. Um, so yeah, he's competing in three weeks time in St. David's Hall, yeah? St. David's Hall. Cardiff. Um, if you are in Cardiff, then uh, <laughs> then um, go go hit him up and go watch the show. I'm definitely there, I'm going to be watching it and maybe get someone on camera. And we're going to go train and have a session now. Thanks for watching.
add in there okay don't necessarily worry about the scales when you're on about your your weight loss journey your fat loss journey whatever you want to call it but there's always different variables involved so if you step on the scales and you're not losing weight you're gonna plan it going on burger or pizza realistically guys you're probably just holding water when you lose fat your body replaces it with water that's what it does um, stay with it guarantee if you look in the mirror and take progress pictures you see the differences so that's it basically, don't worry too much about the scales, it's about how you look and you feel in the mirror. Keep checking yourself, photos, that's what counts. Okay guys, so we're just finishing up on some incline treadmill now. Let's start the cardio off after the weight session. We just done four minutes, it's about just literally 20 minutes, high intensity, yeah? 20 seconds. Uh, 20 minutes, 20 seconds, high intensity. Slowed it down then for 10 seconds, back on it then, 20 seconds, repeat, you're literally just doing that for four minutes. But I want to sort of talk quickly. I can't even get my words out now. Hey, so I want to talk quickly about the chest session we had. Okay, so we started off um, relatively light, wasn't it, on the flight? Yeah, just warm up sets, three sets. Yeah, so three sets controls. So you get the mind to muscle connection kind of through the, the pecs, the chest, um, ready for when you move on to the pressing. And then from there we went on to three sets of eight to ten, wasn't it, or eight to twelve, eight to ten um, reps on incline dumbbells. Then from there, seated yeah, the seated press was like the hammer strength machine. Um, incline is always technically incline, isn't it? It is my I Yeah, so he's saying he does it for the position. Um, just get a good squeeze on the chest, then kind of push past that point. Um, then again, three sets of eight to ten on there. And then we just superseted kind of wide, wide grip dips with wide grip push ups. And then, yeah, we moved on to the cardio then. Short and sweet, nice, good session. Really feel it on your chest, and obviously, get fucked from the cardio now. Um, I can't even speak. It is essential, it is, as I was just saying, it's essential because, um, like we were talking about earlier with the deficit, yeah, cardio essentially is a tool to make that calorie deficit bigger. So, therefore, bigger deficit, bigger fat loss, if you want to put it in that way. Um, I'm going to pass the camera over to Joey now, right? Maybe just talk about some other crucial points for if you're on a weight loss journey or fat loss journey or you want to know about muscle building um, and just general losing weight. Extra tips, things he's doing in his prep, maybe something that I haven't covered or I haven't been covering in my videos. Taking full advantage that I've got him here with me, so I'm going to pass you over. Looking very tanned. Next to me, you are. <laughs> Need to get off those sunbeds. I know. Well, <laughs> uh, basically, guys, main thing for me. Um, I always say it, it's consistency. Um, throughout prep, one thing I'm completely, well, always on, it's the same thing every day, no changing, obviously you have your and stuff like that, but the pattern of getting straight back into it, the only way you know what's working is if you do something continuously, um, and then if something's not working, mix up the variables, change things about a little bit, and you can go from there. Um, make sure you've got weeks spaced out in time so you know you've got enough time to get yourself in shape for whatever your plan is if you've got a photo shoot or if it's just a general weight loss program for lifestyle set yourself little miniature goals um, and always make sure when you're coming up to the end of that goal you've got your next little goal lined up ready ultimately to get to your long-term goal which for me my long-term goal is to never be satisfied with myself so that the journey never ends which I know sounds stupid but for me, if I have a goal and I complete it and there's nothing set in place, that's when I gorge, that's when I come off and end up in a worse state than I did before. Um, if any of you guys do follow me on Instagram, you see my two previous years. I've literally planned to go out and party after my preps, have a couple of months off, being young and all that, and it's put me in a terrible position health-wise. Obviously, it's not good. I've really struggled um, to keep body fat down. Um, my shoulder's killing on this camera. Yeah, after, after that chest. <laughs> um, but yeah, consistency, 
have a plan in place, just go out and smash it, and uh, I'm sure you'll get to where you want to get. Um, so, uh, as Ricky politely and kindly put my name in the uh, video earlier, it's Joe Farrell underscore PT on Instagram. I'll be up on YouTube soon as well, guys. So keep an eye on my Instagram. You'll see when I'm when I'm live, and uh, go from there. Peace.